our travels. So today I thought I would do a bit of a interesting and different approach to the reviews. I have a lot of products here that I'm wearing currently from Western Rise. And so this is going to be a bit of a kind of a mega review or like a multi review of a couple of different Western Rise items. And it's also kind of a bit of a gift guide. So if you are looking to upgrade your wardrobe for the autumn or into the winter, as you can see with this jacket here, um, these are a couple of nice items that you might want to think about. So let's start with the hat. This is the hat from Western Rise, which I actually did a previous video on. You can click in the top right to see that one. Uh, the main thing I like about this hat is that it's water resistant and it's crushable. So you can roll it up nice and flat. You can fold it, bend it, and then it pops back into shape and keeps the sun and the rain off and it's breathable and lightweight. So a very nice hat here to check out from Western Rise. It also comes in several different colors. If you want to go ahead and click the link, you can see the other colors that they are available in. This is the Airloft hooded jacket. So I'll just zip it up here. One thing you will notice if you get this jacket is that the zip is on the opposite side as it usually is. So on men's jackets, usually the zip is on, or the zipper pull is on this side. But in this case, it's on this side. Not a big problem. You can zip it up there and it actually has two so you can adjust the level of break you have in the bottom there. So this is actually the size small. Let me know what you think in the comments, whether this is too tight or not. One thing I did notice is when you have it zipped up on the small one in particular for me, the chest is just slightly tight if I pull my arms back, but otherwise in the arms, through the back and body is reasonably perfectly sized. But this one does tend to sort of puff out in this area. And I believe that's because these pockets here uh, you know, kind of make it expand, but I think it looks great. Uh, it's waterproof, water resistant, windproof, and it has a nice insulated material. So it's actually very warm. And even though it's not that cold today, uh, it actually is quite breathable. So you don't feel too hot when you wear it, even on slightly warmer days. So let me just show you the hood on this as well. You can see it has a very high collar. And then again, that chest tightness. So to actually get the hood on, you have to unzip it put the hood on and then zip it back up. So put the hood on. You can see it actually comes down a little at the front and then zip up. So this is fully zipped. You can see. So this again is a size small. I do have the medium and I'll just show you that quickly so you can compare the two sizes. So small. And with the hood on. Okay, so this is the size medium. It's a size up from what I would typically wear from Western Rise. But let me just show you. The chest tightness is definitely not as bad on this one. Uh, it does still puff out a little in the front section, but if you were layering several clothes underneath, I think you might want to size up uh, if you're wearing like thicker fleece clothes underneath this one, for example. Okay, so that was the Airloft hooded jacket. Very nice material, and as I said, it's breathable water resistant. You can see the water just slides straight off. It actually also packs into this rear pocket here. So I'll show you that just now. Okay, so this is the rear pocket here. And I believe it's just a matter of stuffing the jacket through. So it's not super quick, but I mean, you can do it in a reasonable amount of time. Uh, it has a double zip here, as you can see. And then you have yourself like a pillow. So, you know, you could use that as an airline pillow or uh, as a back support. And so it's great that it is, you know, multi-purpose. So uh, you have the pillow and a jacket in one, which is great. So the next item I have here is the one I'm wearing currently, and that is the Western Rise hoodie. As you can see, it has, has a hood on it. This material is actually a blend. It's this much merino wool and this much nylon. I can't remember the exact numbers, sorry. Uh, but it is very nice. It's particularly a like um, the fabric is knitted, as you can see. And the material reminds me of sort of merino sweaters, like um, from your Uniqlo, like a thinly knit fine merino wool sweater. It also has this bottom bit, which is elastic. It's still very stretchy and very nice. 
but the particular design of this does remind me of more of like a sweater sort of material. A really great layering piece so you could wear this under another fleece or another jacket for example if you want to layer up for the winter. And this is the size small and as I said it is very stretchy, uh, it's very breathable, great for layering in any conditions and just for wearing around the house it's very comfortable and yeah this is a very nice color too, it comes in other colors of course. All right, so the last thing we're going to be reviewing in this sort of mega review, all in one review, is these here. So these are the Western Rise chinos, and they are very stretchy. They are made from a, I believe it's two or four way stretch. This is the sand colorway, I believe it is. It looks sort of more white in person and it has a few interesting features. So if you look at the side pocket here, inside there is a second zippered and hidden compartment and a normal pocket. So the pockets go down to about here. Now one of the things about the difference between the chinos and the evolution pants is that the pants are quite similar but they have a pocket that goes more like a jean style whereas these have the chino pockets which are the side split pocket. The, the other pocket doesn't have a hidden one inside it's just a regular pocket and it goes down to here as you can see. The back pockets, this one's normal and then this one has a hidden zip so you can put your wallet there with an extra layer of security if you would like to. And it's just a zippered pocket, it doesn't have any secondary pocket. Now of course these are also very water resistant as you can see. Water doesn't even stay on there at all and you can actually see the droplets don't even soak in at all. Um, I don't know if you can see that as well but there's quite a few cat hairs here from my cat pixel. Uh, so this material might attract pet fur uh, more than usual. But when you do want to wash these, they are quick drying. Um, the only thing I'd probably say that is could be improved on them is that the material itself, I don't know if you can hear this, I'll put, I'll put the microphone close to it, but when you actually walk with these, the fabric in a quiet area can seem a little bit loud. So. But aside from those things, they are a great pair of chinos that are very comfortable, you know, great for work or just relaxing and chilling out. You can see it has a gusseted crotch just here. The fly on this one is a little bit firm. I guess it will take a while to wear in, but just zipping it up, it's not quite as smooth as some others that I've tried. But again, overall, they are very nice uh, chino pants and they are again come in different colors. So definitely go ahead and check those out in the link below. That was it, basically a sort of a multi-review or like a mega review, um, all-in-one review of several Western Rise items which I definitely do enjoy and I have been enjoying testing them out and I definitely would recommend checking the links in the description to go ahead and look at the website for further information. If you do have any questions or comments or you would like to see like a more full or in-depth review on any of these items, do let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.